All right, so we are going to go over some common phrases today as well as some key questions that are hopefully helpful in conversation. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, there is someone who is newly subscribed and going to Wino Chuk um, next week. So I know um, you had mentioned that you're going to be teaching English uh, to Chuki's students and um, so I'm putting this together for hopefully some helpful guidance on um, just conversational chukis. I shouldn't say that. It's it's more broken into small phrases for you. Um, but then um, I I've reached out to both my dad, my cousin, and my auntie uh, for help with specific for classroom. So I'm gonna get you like uh, it's time for class. Um, maybe seat, student, teacher, that sort of thing. Uh, I did have someone on a prior video comment that, you know, teacher, a common term for teacher would be sensei. Um, so, I mean, I use that. Uh, you could have your students call you sensei, I suppose. Um, but I'll, I'll work on getting you a list of um, more applicable terms. But I thought just common phrases and key questions would be helpful as well. Okay, all right, so we'll start off with um, please. Please and thank you. So, please is gose mochen. Gose with a K. And mo jen. So that's please. Um, thank you, my dad's name, Kiriso. And that it has multiple spellings, but I'm going to use my dad's spelling. K I L I S O U. Could also be spelled with an N. Um, but like I said, I grew up using the L. Um, okay, so we've got, please, gose mochen, thank you, kitty so, uh, you're welcome. Gose para fani. On another video, I talked about how um, my mom is not from the islands, but she actually spent a lot of time there growing up. Um, and her father, who was not a native Chukis, Chukis, and was not a native Chukis speaker as well, um, had a funny saying, uh, kiss a bunny for me, kiss a bunny for me, or kiss a bonnie for me. I can't remember what my mom said, um, but that was her way of remembering how to say you're welcome in Chukis. So it's actually, go se puer a funny, but I can understand how it sounds like that. So it's helped to kind of stick in my brain. You're welcome, uh, kiss a bunny for me, or kiss a bunny for me, is go se puer a funny, and that's with a K, go se puer a fun E. And this, I believe, could be spelled with a L or an N. It's pretty fluid. Um, you might see L's exchanged for N's. Uh, let's see. Really um, is fokun. O So really, fokun. Oh, almost kicked it over. Um, sorry is uh, almost so subtle. Almost so subtle. Almost so So we've got oh, almost so almost Yeah, I know I put an S in the wrong spot. Okay, let me see it. Say it again. Almost, almost saddle, almost saddle, almost saddle. And this N, the way I hear it, and it may be different for different speakers, but the way I hear it is like a soft D. So I don't really hear people saying almost saddle. No. Um, well, now that I say it, I probably hear some people say that, but more often than not, the sound that I hear is almost sado, sado, like um, um, saromoga uh, is let's eat, and I heard that a lot growing up, and that was with an N as well, and I always heard sado mogo, moga, moga. It's a different phrase. Okay, um, so yes and no. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, there's probably multiple ways to say this. I see my cousin, I am a me. 
um, I must today I couldn't read fast enough because um, I'm recording on my phone. So uh, yes and no, we've got yes, ooh, ooh, and no. Up, 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 up. Um, okay, so let's go really quickly to key questions. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. I actually broke that a while ago. I didn't just break it now. It's hanging on for dear life. Okay, uh, key questions. Um, well, these could be pretty useful in classroom. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Metnaka furi. So, metnaka furi. Metnaka furi. Hopefully, you can read that with the light. Um, what are you doing? Metnaka furi. Uh, what? What? Men? Um, how? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll do where is if I if I where is if I um if I so and so there in El Baño. <laughs> Okay, that's Spanish, sorry. Um, how many? Fitu? Fitu? Mm, what's that? Metna? Metna? What time is it? This would be a good one for a class. What time is it? Grok fite ye. That's a big one. Okay. Grok. Grok. Fite E what time is it? We'll quantify that one. All right, and uh, how are you? If I zoom, if I zoom, what are you? Oh, I already have. What are you doing? Menaka furi. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, what happened? What happened? Ah, fet. Let's see if we can say this one. Ah, fet. What happened? I have a feeling, even though that's my note, I think that's probably a shortened version of the actual what happened. There's probably more words to that. Uh, it's just probably a shortened version. Um, one last one. Why? What? What? And that is, I'll put it right here. What? What? Okay, so uh, we went through a few common phrases, a few questions. Hopefully, that's a good starter. Um, but like I said, I will um, uh, get some more information on specific classroom lingo that would probably be heard in a classroom and post that as soon as possible i'm just um, waiting to have some time on the phone with um or skype or something with my cousin or my auntie and i'll get some more information all right so hopefully this is um helpful just to go over it and uh feel free comment if it's not helpful or if it is but let me know what would be easier um so all right take care have a good night